Okay, at this point, I'm sure that you have heard something called Flux LoRa. So in case you didn't know, Flux is an image model that is used to generate AI images. And then LoRa is a training technique that is essentially can be paired with Flux and will generate a different kind of picture. And I'm sure that you have seen this picture just a few months ago. So this is just one among many good examples of Flux and LoRa that when combined together will generate a picture that looks very natural now this still looks very professional you can tell that the camera is definitely high-end you can see that there is a blur effect in the background there is also detail in the fabric in the skin but overall the way it looks just doesn't feel like ai image anymore this is more spontaneous and that's not the quality that usually ai image will generate because ai image is usually being trained by stock photos and that's why the output is almost always looking professional and it's easy for people to just point out that the content or the picture wasn't authentic wasn't created by a real person but thanks to flux and lora now we can get something that closely resemble an authentic photo taken by a real person now there are many tools out there that will happily give you access to Flux and LoRa and then you can generate all sort of pictures that look natural and authentic. But how about in Perplexity? Because this research tool, Perplexity, also has access to Flux 1 model, which is a very good AI model. If you go to the setting, you will see that there is an option to use the Flux 1 model, but we don't have access to LoRa. So the only way we can generate image is via Flux and there is no intervention from LoRa. So how do we get something that look like the combination of Flux and LoRa? Well, it's kind of tricky, but it is possible. So I have created a few pictures before during my test and I would say they look pretty amazing. They look natural, uh, like there is this picture of selfie also another selfie and then there is a picture of woman in a restaurant and you can tell that it doesn't feel like a stock photo generic AI image anymore it looks more authentic and there is also this picture also another selfie it's usually a lot easier to use a selfie because we have tons of data of photo where people use their own smartphone camera which is usually going to be a lot lower quality to produce this kind of picture Okay, this is just one example. I also created more like this one, which is pretty good. And then there's this definitely weird looking photo, but this is very, very natural. Like definitely not a professional setting. This is just someone maybe looking at their breakfast and then they took the photo using a smartphone camera. So these are just some examples that I was able to generate using only flux one model in perplexity there is no outside intervention these are just generated in perplexity and the key here is really about the prompting i'm about to show you the prompt that i used to generate these somewhat natural looking photos in perplexity okay the first thing that you need to do is of course you have to be in the pro subscription because this feature is only for pro subscribers and i think it's not very expensive given all the features that you will get you can actually check the link in the video description if you want to get a 10 dollar discount on your first month in perplexity pro now let's create a new thread i want to say something like do not say anything not even a word okay I just want to start a new thread because that's the only way you can generate an AI picture. Okay, you can see that there is no answer at all. That's why the response is very quick. Now, look closely. There is a button that says generate image. This is the window to access the AI image model. Now, click custom prompt. And just remove this. We don't want to use that. Let's say I want to create a picture of a selfie and let's say a selfie but the background is going to be in some sort of carnival. Now the problem is woman selfie carnival. You might be wondering why the prompt is so short it's not specific and also not grammatically correct. It is very important because according to my testing if I'm using 
a prompt that is very long there is a good chance that the result is going to be very professional it's a not the kind of auto that we want to get we just want to get it as gritty as possible and that's why i'm using a very short prompt basically if you can get it to less than 10 words feel free to do so if you can get it to less than five words that's even better but make sure it is as short as possible the most important thing here is to include all the elements it doesn't have to be grammatically correct now on the style this is where the magic happens okay usually people are going to say something like photographic or maybe amateur it's usually not going to work so instead what you need to do is you have to use this style the style that i'm going to use is img and then underscore six five one nine and then dot jpeg okay actually the number here is not very important you can use any number but the idea here is that this is one example of a image file that is used in the training data for the flux model so hopefully this image usually is a image file taken by a smartphone hopefully this is going to be the basis of ai to create the image it will follow the style based on this image and there is a good chance that this is going to be an amateur looking photo so this prompt will follow this style at least in theory it's not always a guarantee but there is a good chance it will actually follow the style now when you're done with the style and the subject you can submit and just wait until perplexity is generating your ai image Okay, this is the result okay it is still looking more professional so i guess we have to change the format into something else now i'm going to do it, do it again this is going to be let's say a college party and then this is going to be okay this one is a bit different you can use something like selfie.jpg it is very interesting because you can actually change this into anything else you can change the uh background you can change the setting like you can specify let's say the time like night jpeg or morning or maybe a place like street it's really up to you but in this case i'm gonna go with selfie and let's click submit this is actually the same prompt the same setting that i used to produce this image yeah that was the same setting but there's no guarantee it will generate the same exact picture but I hope the result is somewhat similar. And there you go. You can see that it's way, way more amateur looking. And sometimes it is based on your luck. I think some people can get it better. Sometimes you, you, even if using the same setting, you, you cannot get it right. But in this case, I think I was lucky enough to get this uh, amazing looking photo that looks very amateur, not professional. So this is just one example. So let's go back and let's try again. I want to go with uh, a different setting now. This is going to be a woman, smile, selfie, holding paper that says not real. And then for the style, it's going to be IMG 1234.CR2. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that you can use CR2, you can use JPEG, you can use H E I C. These are just some popular image formats that are usually used by uh, amateur device like smartphone or digital camera. So you can use these formats. Now, when you're done with the prompting and style, click submit again, and hopefully we, I can get a more amateur-looking photo this time. Okay, this is the result. I think that's not quite disappointing. But among all the generations that I just show you in this video. I think this one is a lot better you can tell that the detail is just amazing it's grady the lighting is bad the focus is not good which means this photo is good which means it is natural so that's the goal of this video to create natural looking photo using perplexity ai so yeah uh, i hope you learned something from this video even though uh, there are a lot of things that maybe i could explain better but the thing is you have to specify uh, you have to be short at your prompt and then you have to use like image dot underscore one two three four dot jpeg or maybe you can use something like 
selfie.jpg basically just put a name and then image format name in the style section that's i think the most important part of this prompting technique and then the subject make sure it to be as short as and as concise as possible so that's the two things that you need to know anyway if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel because i'm gonna be making more videos about ai in the future so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you around